And good Tuesday evening. Hope everyone enjoyed their rainy Tuesday. Most of the uh, heavy rain, as you can see, lifting on off towards the north and east. We'll have a few scattered renegade showers off to the south and west. And another little band of showers that's actually going to come through with the actual front itself. But that'll move through later tonight. And then we'll be pretty much done with this weather system. But not after it's dumped quite a bit of rain here. We've had uh, pretty much about an inch and a half in most places here today. Uh, about an uh, inch and a half here in the city as well as in Chatsworth. Over an inch and a half for Calhoun and uh, areas down to the south as well here. So again, another Another very beneficiary rain event for us here. And as you can see, because most of the heavy rain has moved on off towards the east, that means the flood watches have also been allowed to move off towards the east as well. So we're not going to be dealing with too much more flooding as again that main rain event lifting on off towards the north and east. And you can see here with the upper level low back in Arkansas, uh, one little band of showers trying to develop and that'll sweep through tonight with the actual front. And then all this activity will move on off towards the east, at least all the rain will, as high pressure will begin to build in from the west. So that's the new pattern that we're going to be dealing with. And that's going to provide a break for us over the next few days before more rainfall moves in as we head towards Thursday. On the wider perspective, you can see system number one now getting wound up here in Arkansas, Missouri, and that's pushing all that activity towards the north and east. So they're expecting quite a bit of rainfall there while we dry out and have a couple of days of dry weather back here towards the west that's going to be moving in. And then our next storm system will be moving in from the north and west, and this system will sweep in just in time for the end of the week and heading into the weekend. So uh, the forecast looks quite unsettled as we head towards the weekend. Here's a look at your weather map for tonight. You'll be able to see our system number one lifting on off towards the north and east here. High pressure building in back to the west, and that will be the story for your Wednesday. Not only for your Wednesday, but your Thursday as well. But notice by Thursday out towards the west, our next activity is the gearing up here with a front coming in from the north and west with colder air and also moisture coming in from the south and west here uh, with some warm air down to the south. So that's going to com kind of combine as it moves towards the east and bring us a good chance of rain uh, coming up by the end of the week. Now, for because of their chances of rain, the uh, football game, the LFO, uh, game against Southeast, a uh, big game out there in uh, the south end of the county will be moved to Thursday night. And the weather looks pretty good there with uh, a cloud and sun mix pretty much, but it should be dry coming up for Thursday night with temperatures in the lower 70s. So again, not bad forecast for you for that game if uh, you're going to be heading to that one. Now as we head towards your Friday night, the forecast could be a little different here as we're expecting a chance of rain. Hopefully we'll allow the, the rain to move in after the kickoff here, but sometime Friday evening into Friday night, we are expecting scattered showers and storms to move in from the west. So we'll see how that works out and we'll fine tune this forecast as we go throughout uh, the rest of the week as well. All right, so your forecast here for tonight, showers early. We're going to have some clouds out there and also some fog, especially if you live by any uh, area, lakes or streams out there. Temperatures dropping into the upper 40s. And then for your Wednesday, clouds early, and then it looks like we should have clearing skies by the afternoon. Uh, not a bad day with temperatures warming up to the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. And then as we look at our temperature trends, the warmer air will be with us through the weekend, then some cool air by the beginning of next week. And as we head towards the middle and latter part of the next week, looks like we could have even more cold air building up getting ready to move on into the area by that time. So we'll continue to uh, fine tune that and watch that as we go throughout the next several days as well. All right, here's a look at your seven day forecast. We're gonna be looking at clouds in around for Wednesday and Thursday, but not too bad of a day, but more chances of rain and storms coming in late Friday. And especially now looks like the wet day being on Saturday, which is of course is Halloween. Hopefully we'll be able to tweak that forecast. We don't want to have any rain on Halloween, but right now it does look kind of wet there. Also don't forget over the weekend to forget to uh, fall back as we uh, set our clocks back one hour and then it looks like the beginning of next week looks to be pretty much dry and on the cool side as well. That's us look at your weather webcast for your Tuesday evening. Stay with us. We'll have another one for you on Wednesday. Have a great evening.